Okay, welcome back to Aim Junction. We are back up here on the loft, and uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an interesting one. This is going to be a big layout update across uh, a few of my layouts, um, so not just up here on the loft. Um, so yeah, just want to say a big thank you to uh, getting us to 2,000 subscribers. It's really amazing um, that there's that many people that want to watch. Uh, the layouts that I have and that I do and the shows that I attend so I really do appreciate that and uh, as promised a competition um, where you'll be able to win um, or give away um, it's probably a better word for it will be coming soon I just need to sort out some prizes and bits like that um, and work out some bits that I could offer um, I've already got some bits in mind so watch out for that and uh, as promised that will be coming in the next few weeks um, there'll be some cool model railway items up for grabs. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to talk any longer. We're going to get straight into this update and uh, show you what I've been up to. So the loft is uh, pretty much all as normal. Uh, I am in the process of cleaning my track and doing a few little bits here and there. Um, I'm about to install a train tech sensor signal where them red and black wires are. We've got some new uh, PFA wagons from Acura Scale, which are here. We've got six um, just forming a nice rate that I got um, about a month ago from Great Eastern Models, followed by the very nice Cavalex uh, BBA wagons, uh, which you can see there. They're really, really nice. Great little model. Um, so I've got two of those which will ni look nice also in Riverside TMD doing some shunting here and there um, So yeah, everything's all the same pretty much on the loft. Um, I am working on a bit of an industrial area here um, And I have got a array of stuff from uh, John Dutfield to uh, Sort that I've got some green scenes static grass as well as loads of vans and that in there um, to park up here and make kind of a bit of an industrial area forecourt um, so that's in the process of being done and that's kind of what we've got so far um, so yeah there's not too much that's only that she started put a new uh, train tech signal in um, over there as you can see um, which is all good and then we go on to the station I've been recently cleaning and sorting out some of my stock in the fiddle yard so it looks a little bit tidier and neater now in rake formations. So onto the bit you've all really wanted to uh, probably been waiting for is the station obviously um, it's been a quite a main part for the layout for quite a while and uh, in the last few layout updates of me reworking it here it is it's uh, basically finished it's not all fully there yet I've got other bits to add um, some bits here and there but it's it's mainly all there apart from little details weathering and stuff like that it's there obviously the track needs weathering as you can very clearly see um, so yeah this is the station of how I've really always wanted it to look um, we've got this very nice new Backman um, huts like station hut which I think is a real quite exquisite little model it's only just came out and uh, yeah I picked it up from John Duckfield earlier today um, which is good which is my local model shop and uh, yeah we finally built, I know this has probably took like six months um, of me saying that I'm going to do it, the other uh, escalator cover um, building, which looks nice really having the pair. And uh, as you can see, I'm really happy with it. Um, we've got little bits here from model railway scenes, like these uh, black anti-trespass grids. They're on all platforms on either end, as well as I've got quite an array uh, down here of uh, other bits from them I've got some other little trolleys to paint up and I am in the process of painting loads of stuff up just there um, 
just to let you know, we still do have a discount code running for Model Railway Scenes. Um, so all you need to do, search their website up. That's the company and how um, you spell it and what it looks like logo-wise. Go and search it and uh, put in the discount code, all capitals, of Amory Junction. Um, and then that will give you 20% um, off their products so you can go and buy some of their stuff. It's a great little company that do little 3D printed stuff and the prices are really good. I've done a video about it which has uh, got all the full details in. But I thought I'd give it a quick little mention for you to go and check them out as I do have some of their stuff now up on the station. There will be a proper layout update on the loft very soon which will go over the station and uh, show it off in its full glory soon. Right, we've got this very nice brand new Class 37 in Rail Freight. That's a new release out from Backman. And I got that from Great Eastern Models. Um, so I need to get that chipped up. I've got the chip uh, here, um, ready to go in it. So uh, yeah, I do need to get around to doing that as well. So uh, that will do for the loft for this quick little brief update and we'll move on to the next layout. So as you may be able to tell we are now at my unit. Uh, where I store some of my exhibition layouts. There's a few here now. So uh, obviously at the front, the biggest uh, one I've got is London New Street, um, which is getting there now. And then down below lives uh, Plumstead Arches. So London New Street, um, work is still progressing on it. Obviously it's multi-level and it's got the Magna Rail system. I've got a lot to do on this one um, in terms of electrical stuff, but that's mainly it. But as you can see, it's mainly there. All the trains work and I've got some signals to sort out as well now I think of it. So uh, yeah, I do like that one. Um, it's just a big amount of effort to still finish it. This is a new one. Um, this is yet to be named and uh, it's a heritage railway with a turntable um, some of these laps all do have fiddle yards that add on the end so then you can actually run them around and stuff so just bear that in mind and then obviously underneath is Battle de Normandy which you've seen before and if you haven't look it up on YouTube it's got its own video on here on the channel um, so going back to London New Street underneath is obviously Plumstead Arches again that has a video on it in greater detail um, this one's got a lot of electrical stuff still to go with a few little minor bits of scenery which I plan to do later on the week before I go back to work. Um, so yeah, I'm, I do like this one. It's something different. Um, and obviously it's computer controlled via iTrain. So it all runs itself basically. But I've got a few more electrical stuff and bits of wall to put up and the actual river to do. And a few little bits of touching up the scenery just to finish it off. All very simple stuff. Um... But I just need to do that as well as obviously sort the fiddle yards out and get them properly done um, and like boxed in if that makes sense. And then I can attach signs so then you can't see the fiddle yards. So uh, I have recently treated myself to this very nice new IKEA glass cabinet which I've got some of the locos that aren't on the layouts but are for the layouts of the unit. Um, so in here um, you've just got some of the spares um, out of the bit that I use at the unit. Um, and it's somewhere to safely put them in just to keep them safe whilst at the unit. And obviously I've got my very nice Class 156 by Rainbow Railways in Greater Angular livery. 
which I do like, but I do need that sound fitting um, and sorting. And so you've got some other bits up here at the top as well. Um, I do like the cabinet. It was about £60 from Ikea, so you can't really go wrong. London New Street, obviously, um, we're getting there. This bit's all literally finished. I've wired up the 009 circuit, so that works now on the miniature railway up this end, which is nice to have that running now. Um, but at the moment, I've got the um, loco at home. So, uh, yeah, we've got to see the kites light, light up ambulance, and that was quite a tongue twister. Um, that, I think, is a great product. Absolutely stunning uh, products they do, and I think it's awesome. And it's a great little scene um, to have on London New Street. So, 009 circuit, as I've said, is uh, all there now. And uh, there's a few little bushes that I want to put on that embankment near the station. Um, so obviously this is the industrial area. The plan is to have a bridge go over this, but I'm not too sure if that's what I'm going to do now. Who knows? I've wired up the uh, Traintech smart screens and I've actually just put the platform in the other side, so I need to sort that out as well. Um, and this is all pretty much the same as the layout update, um, which was a few months ago now. Mainly, I've just got stuff to wire up and little bits here and there to finish on this. Um, lighting and electricals is the key, and hopefully I can get one of my mates or a family members to help wire some bits up, because I hate wiring and electrical. It's not my uh, cup of tea. So, yeah, it's, it's going well. Um, London New Street got some new little bits around the back, um, a nice new LT steamer. So, yeah, that's the unit, and it's looking pretty good. And uh, even better, now I've um, had my granddad make me a shelf, which you just saw, um, that goes above the unnamed Heritage Railway. So on here, I've got all storage stuff, spare new stuff, and it just uh, opens it up so you can walk around in the unit a little bit better than having it all where I had it before, which literally was where I'm walking now. Um, it all just got in the way and you tripped over it. So now it's nice to have that all up out the way. And uh, under the shelf, I'm going to uh, attach some lights that will help light up the Heritage Railways. At the moment, it is quite dark and hard for you to see. But this is the new Heritage Railway. Um, it's not based on anywhere in particular. Um, but it's uh, going well. It's on Tim Horn baseboards. And uh, that's the same as Battle de Normandy, which you can see now underneath. Um, these both need a few little bits here and there, finishing scenery-wise and... Uh, properly wiring up and hook into a control and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the unit and uh, we'll head back so uh, this is a new little project I've been working on um, which is going to be living at my unit most likely um, or down in the shed um, on one of the old spare garden gateway boards placed on there. Um, so yeah, this is a 009 layout that we've got. Um, I'm quite pleased with how it looks at the moment. Um, it's not all finished. Um, nice and simple, just DC uh, operation. And uh, got two sets of bus wires there. And it's got another two the other side. I just need to hook it up to the control, which is a h old Hornby control. Um, and at the moment, I'm just working on this uh, where it is rather than at one of my specific uh, areas of the house or um, at the unit where I do the modelling. Um, so, yeah, I've just got this on the floor at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it looks now. Um, it does look pretty good, I'd say. And uh, it's a nice little exhibition there. It's not yet named. Um, but it's a nice little layout that I could take with me somewhere very easily, just in the boot of the car without putting any seats down. So, uh, yeah, and it gives me another opportunity to run some of my nice 009 stock. So I'm currently taking up the garden gateway as you can see, that's all gone and in its replacement is going to be an O-gauge indoor layout 
just whilst uh, you get days like this. Um, obviously with the current weather, uh, you don't want to really be outside. So uh, I thought it'd be nice somewhere to have a bit of an O-gauge layout as well. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'm just in the process of taking all the scenery and bits and pieces up um, that aren't going to be used for the O-gauge layout. It's only going to be a simple little shunt layout, but you know, um, just need to take up all the bits to make sure it's got a nice good layer to be on. And I'll just use obviously all the original garden gateway boards. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm mainly doing up here. And I'll quickly show you uh, Garden Gateway, the uh, new version of it, which is going to be an exhibition layout. Okay, so this is uh, Garden Gateway, what it's going to be from now. Um, so I'm quite happy with what we've got so far. A full layout update is going to be coming on this very soon. Um, it's just kind of a reboarded uh, version of the original Garden Gateway. Um, it does have two fiddle yards that go on it, so obviously you can run trains round um, and hook on to there. Um, so yeah, this is how it is at the moment. I'm quite pleased with how it looks and uh, layouts with container terminals is now one of my favourite things. Um, they do look pretty cool. Right, so what I'm going to do, um, going to uh, move on and we'll uh, go on to the next layout. So at the moment I've got all the old garden gateway stuff to reuse on another layout. And this is from a bulk buy of model railway stuff I got earlier in the year, um, which is all in there. So uh, yeah, we're quite busy and uh, need to get this sorted, but it is very cold at the moment. So it's a hard time in the year to be uh, doing all bits up here in the garden building. Right, so in terms of the actual giveaway I'm going to be doing, you're going to have to watch this space on that, um, that'll be coming soon. Uh, so hold on that, and uh, there'll be like a community post, and if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, it'll be on there as well, on the Amy Junction pages, um, of what you need to do. Uh, it won't really require a lot, so uh, I just need to basically work out what I'm going to do, um, work out what I can offer to give, and uh, then... And then only then I'll put it up and uh, obviously you'll be able to enter. So uh, yeah, do look out for that. And I just want a big thank you to everyone that subscribed once again for uh, getting us to 2,000 subscribers. Really, really good. And uh, let's keep on going. So uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave today's video. I do hope you enjoyed the little mix of layouts and uh, bits and pieces we showed. As well as seeing the station as it is now up here on the loft. Um... If you want to see more, um, but a bit more in-depth videos on each layout, obviously it's only a quick overview today, let us know in the comments down below and we can uh, try and do more updates or mass updates like this uh, across all the different layouts. Um, so if you enjoy that, we can sort that out. The only issue is videos could get a little bit long, so that's why I normally do them individually. So uh, anyway, that's enough for today. Uh, thank you again for 2,000 subscribers. And as always, I will speak to you in my next video.